Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, um, sit, settle in, grab a cocktail. We're gonna talk about 2023, um, what I would recommend, what I don't recommend, and all of the things that I think we can expect for 2023. So if you want to join me, um, let's raise a glass and uh, go ahead and please subscribe, become a Bleeding Heart, become a member of our family here on YouTube. It's 2023, it's all the rage. Um, please give this video a thumbs up at the end if you like it, and leave me a comment for future content you'd like to see. So without further ado, if you'd like to see that, then keep on watching. Okay everyone, cheers to um, 2023, it's fast approaching, um, it's almost here, or maybe in this time frame it's already here. Um, so cheers, we made it. So. In 2022, I feel like we saw a lot of celebrity skincare launches, <laughs> a lot of skincare launches in general, but a lot of celebrity skincare launches, uh, some of them very successful, some of them not so successful. Um, we continued to see the rise in people buying more skincare than they were buying color products, I would say, or e even fragrances. Um, at the end of 2022, of course, we've seen a big decline in people buying fragrances in general because of all of the um, toxins, toxic chemicals, um, the debate about forever chemicals and all that jazz. Um, so yeah, we've seen a lot of growth in some areas and some decline in other areas and we've also see people change the way that they shop entirely i think we've seen a shift a big shift in online buying um definitely i am right there um on that trend i think that generation z and um millennials are definitely a very online shopping geared sort of um, generation. So we're seeing a shift from physical shopping to more virtual shopping. Uh, I think that we'll continue to see that in 2023. I think we'll also continue to see the rise of more, more and more and more skincare. Um, I don't think skincare is stopping at any juncture. I think that it's going to keep growing in the future. I think we'll see a lot of more clean marketing with fragrances and things like that going forward. Um, and a lot of companies trying to save face or um, save their marketing strategy for their um, products. <laughs> uh, there's a lot more strict rules becoming enforced. Uh, or I, I believe that we'll have a lot stricter rules being enforced about what can and can't be put into products, um, a lot more transparency hopefully going forward about what actually is in some products. Um, I think that we'll see, you know, about the same sort of business going on with beauty, beauty um, meaning color. I think that color cosmetics are going to see um, just as much attention as they have been getting. I, I think it's been pretty, to be honest, steady in that way. It's just much more virtual than physical, which is strange because you have, you know, things like foundations that you need to actually probably be color matched for to actually experience the product correctly. But, uh, you know, virtual tools are, are becoming more and more popular and we see virtual aids being used with phones and cameras to help um, aid you in finding the right colors and things. So I think that that will continue. I think we'll see more and more virtual sort of makeup strategies happening, especially in the metaverse and things like that. Um, yeah, I think for me, what I see going forward is I really want to experience, you know, the best of the beauty world. I love fragrance. I love skincare. I love makeup. As you know, I will continue reviewing new things, you know, as new technology and new products come out that are innovative. But 
I will say I like simplicity in my routine and I really, really love to enjoy my products. So going forward, like one of the things I've started to do is just really pare down what I have. And I think I'll continue to do that going into 2023. Um, I'm gonna keep kind of paring everything down, um, trying not to have excess of things and waste because if you're not using it, I just feel like it shouldn't be in your collection, you know? I think that we'll see um, much more of a rise on YouTube of uh, professionals in the skincare industry and uh, professionals in the cosmetic chemistry industry and things like that come forward and um, we'll see a lot more content in that way as well because people are just interested in it and I think that these professionals will be gaining a lot more uh, kind of like following in that way uh, on this platform. So I think we'll see more of that happening. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm really excited for 2023. I want I want it to be one of the best years ever. Obviously, we want every year to be one of the best years ever. But I can see 2023 being a really good year for a lot of people. And I hope it is because the past few years have been not so good, I know, for many. And so, yeah, I hope everyone, I wish everyone the best. Um, those are kind of my thoughts and opinions about things um, for 2023. I think that it's really going to be about skincare again. Um, I think that it's going to continue to be about skincare, skin focused makeup looks. Um, healthy things that are healthy for the skin healthy healthy for the body um things that are good for your mental health and mental you know clarity and things like that will be important going forward um so those are the kind of products i think that we're gonna see the new kind of products we'll see in 2023 so i'm excited for it um i will continue to bring you makeup reviews skincare reviews um you know anything from health and wellness to beauty and skincare and fragrance and things like that. So if you want to see things like that, please subscribe. Like I said, become a bleeding heart, become a member of our family here on YouTube. It is for free and it helps me out. So I would appreciate it. Um, look forward to lots more content in 2023 and yeah. Cheers, you guys.